So my name is Danny Guerin. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and a graduate from this program here at ACTCM. I have my own private practice in Mill Valley. I'm in the ring. Focus on treating emotions for spiritual growth and well-being. And I treat a lot of constitutional issues such as digestive disorders, and neurological conditions, stroke recovery, and a lot of different things that I, I tend to enjoy treating. I like to do a lot of things, but those are some of my main things. Um, I am a teacher here as well. I teach a lot of Western science courses here. I teach chemistry, biology, physiology, and then I teach this as well. And I'm the academic support administrator, which means that I tutor a lot of Chinese medicine students who are struggling in their classes to make sure that they succeed and help them. So I do a lot of teaching with my time and have my own private practice, which is great. All of this is good. So when I, just to give you a little bit about my background, when I decided to go into Chinese medicine, I'd gone through a long journey of trying to figure out what it was I was going to do with myself. And I had no idea. Um, I studied genetics when I was in my undergrad at UC Berkeley and realized when it was a little too late that it was the wrong thing for me because I didn't like working in the laboratory and I thought it was awful and disconnected from everybody and it just in some ways sucked. <laughs> Um, so I did get that degree because it was too late to change and did nothing for a while basically. I did odd jobs, I nannied for families and I was a beekeeper and trying to figure out what I wanted to do with myself. My family, my parents, especially my father and my grandmother, pushed me to do Western medicine. They really always, ever since I was a little kid, were like, you need to do Western medicine. This is exactly what it is or that's exactly what's most important. When I was like nine or 10 years old, I saw an acupuncturist office that when I was driving down the street with my grandma and my grandfather. My grandfather was very mild-mannered, very, such a gentleman. And my grandmother was very opinionated. Um, amazing as well, though, in her own ways. And I said, that sounds amazing, I wanna do that. And she said, oh, that's great. Just get your MD first, then you can think about doing it. You know, so I had all of these people pushing me to do Western medicine, and I rebelled against it, and that's why I studied genetics, because I wanted to do my own thing. I didn't want to do it because they wanted me to do it. Um, so after all that time of being out of school and not knowing what to do with myself, I realized that I really did enjoy medicine and really wanted to help people in that way. So I actually took my MCATs, got interviews lined up at Western Medical Colleges, universities and right before I was set to go in for my first interview I decided it was the, um, wrong for me and I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. I wanted to, I, I thought that I needed the Western medical degree in order to reach more people, in order to help more people so that they would take me more seriously. But I realized I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. If my heart was telling me that I needed to work on preventing disease instead of Western medicine, where what it's really good for is treating disease once it gets bad, or surgery, which is really good. You know, there's a lot of things Western medicine is good for, but in terms of preventing disease, there's a big lack. And that's where Chinese medicine can come in and work together with Western medicine and really complement each other. And so I really realized, come on. I really realized that um, I wanted to be on the foreground of helping people stay in balance, treating their illness before they became a real big disease. And that's something that Chinese medicine is great at. We learn how to look at symptoms before they become full-blown pathologies in terms of Western medicine. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of doctors in my family and they are amazing, do amazing work. And there's places where we can help each other. So I decided to study acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine. And I am so happy I did it. I, I never look back. Never. So that's where I come.